Hey guys, Andrew with CPR Instructor Affiliates powered by Prime Medical Training. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Preston 2000 upgrade kit. I'm really excited about this. Preston sent this to me to review and uh, I'm gonna be taking a look at actually how it functions. But right now we're going to, uh, in a separate video, but right now we're going to take a look at how to actually install it and upgrade your regular Preston mannequin to the 2000 series. So all you need to do is have a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. And uh, we'll start with um, coming over here on the back end and we're gonna use the flathead. Um, there are, there's like a little cover piece here that um, is where the cable runs. So we're gonna need to remove that um, there's already indentations where you can wedge the flathead in and it pulls right off and it exposes the wire. The next thing we're gonna do, um, I have found is the easiest is to come over here, open it up, and there is a single screw set right there. So we'll use the Phillips. Unscrew that, that loosens the lights so this entire lighting component is coming out. So now that I have my hand back here just to keep it from falling, close that up temporarily. And then lastly, we're gonna go back to the flathead. And if you see here, there's uh, um, this round piece. That's where the spring and clicker are located. So we're gonna just pry on that just a little bit. Doesn't take much and that'll come off. So we'll set that aside. And then inside here is a spring. So we'll just get that to fall out. We'll set that aside as well. And now we're gonna open up the uh, conversion kit. So the conversion kit has three components. There's the, uh, the new light and then this plug. So the plug's gonna go in first and it goes all the way down the back of this mannequin. You're gonna take your finger and just push in and usually one push and you'll feel it kind of set into place. Then we're going to take um, the new rate monitor and it's going to uh, if you can see here it's going to go in like so just clicks into place and then the lights go here now there is this this white cord that's going to be for the bluetooth so just let that dangle i'll come back to it in just a minute and show you what to do with it open up your mannequin and uh we're going to screw that screw back down That'll secure the, um, the lights. Close this, set it over. You're gonna take the cover and the cover goes over the cords and just clicks into place. And then finally, the uh, receiver here is going to go underneath the skin. So we'll move this, remove the uh, tie there, open the skin up, and it's gonna come around here, and it just sets someplace on the skin, and you want the skin, it to be between the skin and the foam. Now, let me, let me do that, wrap it around that side. Now, depending on where you place this cord, they say that the, the tab may not latch all the way. I think it's just, um, again, it depends on where you place it. I put it right up here towards the, the neck um, and I had no problem with it latching. So now you've got this uh, cable there and you're ready to go. And make sure you install two AA batteries. You can probably just take them out of the old uh, lighting system that you had and go to town. One other thing to note, this conversion kit is only for 2018 models and newer, okay? They don't work if you've got one that's, uh, that's newer than 2018. And if you say, well, I don't know, um, you know what year my mannequin is, there are stickers usually um, somewhere on the body. This one happens to have it on the back um, and it'll tell you 
what year it was uh, made. And so this one is from February 1st, 2021. So obviously it's completely compliant and uh, qualifies for the upgrade. Okay, so finally, once you have it all installed, we're gonna take the ventilation sensor and we're going to install this special lung bag. It is different than the standard lung bags because it has this white, um, plastic piece here where the sensor clips into it. So we need to go ahead and fold this bag on the dotted lines and send it down. The challenge, there we go, is making sure that you get the, the plastic piece right side up. And then we're going to uh, put this sensor in. Clips in right there. You can see it here, right where the, the throat is, it clips in there. Um, I'm gonna close it up. And We'll take these uh, plastic flaps, just like you do on the regular Prestons. Latch them there to the back of the jaw on those tabs, and we're good to go. I hope that was helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. We put out a lot of great videos about product reviews and demos and, uh, and, and topics on how to run and grow a successful CPR business. We would love to engage with you. We will also answer and respond to any questions that you leave in the comments. Again, my name is Andrew with CPR Instructor Affiliates and we're powered by Prime Medical Training.